A quality zero turn mower in the $4,000 price range can be hard to find. That's because at this price, manufacturers are working on a limited budget. After picking which engine and transaxles to use, there's not much money left over for building the body and frame and mowing deck. This design challenge reveals a lot about a mowing brand because it shows where their priorities lie. Is the company going to spend that money on gimmicky features and tech to make you feel like you're getting more bang for your buck? Or is their focus on the quality of the build of the machine? When talking about Bad Boy, the latter is the case, and lucky for you, the MZ Magnum is a quality zero turn for right around $4,000. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the MZ Magnum to help you decide if this mower is right for you. To support this channel, like, subscribe, comment, and visit visit tractorbob.com. Now let's dive in. The MZ Magnum comes with a sturdy 3 16 inch, seven gauge, steel formed and welded deck with reinforced edges. There are two anti-scalp wheels in the front towards the outside of the deck. The scalp wheels are mounted onto steel supports that are fully welded onto the deck and the wheels themselves are made of thick, sturdy plastic as well, which is nice. With all mowers by Bad Boy, you get this really nice chute that's bolted on and made of thick rubber. The deck is supported by four steel hangers and and two additional deck isolators, so you're less likely to damage the mounting brackets when hitting a tree or rubbing up against a fence. The deck comes with two really nice plastic spindle covers that are bolted on. The MZ Magnum also comes in two deck sizes, a 48 inch and 54 inch cut. The cut height ranges from 1.5 to 4.5 inches, and the deck adjustment is Bad Boy's signature foot pedal plus dial system, which I really like. Finally, cleaning out and servicing the mowing deck is super easy. The floorboard flips up and everything is easily accessible. The MZ Magnum comes in three engine options. All of the engine options come with the 54 inch mowing deck, but only one engine features a 48 inch cut. That engine is the Kawasaki FR651V, which is a 726 cc, 21.5 horsepower engine. The other two are Kohler engines and are both 725 cc. The first is the KT740 at 25 horsepower and the other is the KT745 at 26 horsepower. The transaxles are the Hydrogear ZT2200s, which is pretty standard for a mower of this size and output 215 foot pounds of torque. Like the floorboard, the seat flips up and access to the engine, transaxles, wiring, and battery is all very good for a residential mower. The build quality is where the MZ Magnum stands out amongst the other mowers at this price range. Aside from the mowing deck, which we already covered, this bad boy mower has a sturdy, heavy gauge, all steel, all welded frame. And the entire chassis is coated in bad boy's high quality signature orange powder coating. The yokes are also made from heavy gauge steel and are well constructed. The tires are smaller than what you'll find on more expensive residential bad boy mowers, but that's to be expected. The front wheels are 11 by six by 5 inches with smooth tread and the back wheels are 18 by 8.5 by 8 inches with turf tread. Having larger tires does come in handy when encountering ruts, ditches, or uneven terrain and while this mower has slightly larger front tires than the MZ Rambler, Bad Boy's most affordable zero turn, the mower right above this, the ZT Avenger, has significantly bigger rear tires which make it ride smoother and handle hills better. Despite this, the MZ Magnum is plenty good at handling small hills and irregular terrain. The mower also holds five gallons of gas and has a top speed of six miles per hour. Bad Boy has set their priorities right on their residential mowers. The MZ Magnum does not have any fancy features, which of course I appreciate. Instead, Bad Boy has focused on providing us with a higher quality build and components. The deck dial system is one really good feature. The control panel is super straightforward and simple. There is an hour meter, something you don't see on the MZ Rambler. There is also a spot where you can wire in lights or an electric deck lift system. You also have your PTO switch and throttle. There's a fuel gauge on the opposite side of the ignition, along with a small 
small storage cubby, phone holder that will fit most phones with the exception of larger phones like the iPhone Pro Max, and there is a cup holder as well. You also get a nice seat on this mower. It's got an open back to make it more breathable. It also has nice stitching throughout the seat, and the back is made from this nice hard plastic instead of cloth, which is another nice touch. The final feature I really like about the residential bad boy mowers are the control arms. They feel very sturdy and are smooth to operate. The weight of the MZ Magnum ranges from 659 pounds to 687 pounds, depending on the engine and cut size you choose. The height is about 42 inches and the overall length is 76 inches. The overall width of the mower also ranges. The 48 inch cut option has a total width of 54 inches and the 60 inch cut option has a total width of 58 inches. And both of those dimensions are with the chute in the upright position. All right, now that we've covered the MZ Magnum in depth, let's go over the price. Now the price if you are financing will likely vary from dealer to dealer. However, you should be able to get the same monthly prices or close to the price listed on Bad Boy's website. For the MZ Magnum, financing starts for around $78.07 per month with approved credit. If you're going to go into the store and are paying cash, the cash price for these mowers start for around $4,200 to $4,300. And as always, prices are subject to change depending on when you are watching this video. The MZ Magnum might have been designed on a budget, but just because it's more affordable than a residential mower, that does not mean this mower is not well built. Quite the opposite. Bad Boy has done a fantastic job with the overall build quality of this mower, and I appreciate where they decided to place the most amount of value on this machine, which is clearly in the build quality of the chassis and the components, as well as the mowing deck. I'd recommend this mower for anyone looking to mow about a quarter acre to about two acres of land or less, once you start getting into more acreage, I would recommend looking at a bigger mower with a larger cutting deck. The mower directly above this one is the Bad Boy ZT Avenger. You can get that mower with a 60 inch deck, making it a bit more suitable for larger pieces of land. If you need an inexpensive mower that can also fit through gates, check out the MZ Rambler or Bad Boy's residential stand-on mower, the Revolt SD. You'll find both of those videos on the Tractor Bob YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your time. To support this channel, like, subscribe, comment, and visit tractorbob.com. See you in the next one.